Hey guys! So, uh, my name is Kelsey, and I have decided that I would like to do a Let's Play. This is my first Let's Play. It should be fun. I am doing uh, The Silver Lining by Phoenix Online Studios, the uh, unofficial King's Quest Nine. But, yeah, uh, only up to episode 3 is out yet, but I think I'm going to start with it, see what happens. Should be thrilling. So, let's get this all started up. And start recording. Go. This is more fiery than I remember it being. That was... I don't remember that being there. Where exactly do you go to get a phoenix sound effect online? Well, anyway, here we are at the main menu. This is Rosella right here. She is my, uh, my namesake, if you look at my, uh, my screen name. So, because we've never done this before, let's start with episode one. What is decreed must be. When the royal family is once again threatened by the forces of evil, King Grandma Davenger embarks on a journey across the Green Isles through a menacing storm in search of the knowledge of the Great Oracle. Will he find the answers he seeks? What is the cause of the strange events surrounding the Great Isles? And what is the identity of the mysterious cloaked man? Find out in the exciting first episode of the long-awaited The Silver Lining. The long-awaited The Silver Lining? Well, whatever. Let's get on with it. And this says long-awaited. I waited for this for about half my life by the time it came out. Well... Yeah, must have been, I guess about five years, so, I guess it was half my life when I first started. I'll shut up and let this uh, intro go. See, it's much less loud here. This is a much more subtle flame. It was frightening in the intro. I don't think it used to do that. But I guess it was still a phoenix. Look at those effects there. Let's play. Now this is awfully reminiscent of King's Quest 6. the Green Isles, so reminiscent of King's Quest VI was probably not by accident. Happy 21st birthday, King Alexander and Princess Rosa. Oh, that's the King's Quest font, like the one on the, uh, on the boxes. That's where right, I recognize the K. So, Princess Rosa, it's my birthday. It's not really my birthday. It'd be cool, though. Now, we were never here in King's Quest VI. This, uh... That hallway was not there. We kind of went in and Alexander said, Oh, that's the kitchen. Whoops. So I guess we can assume one of those doors is the kitchen. Aw, they're nuzzling. How cute. Alright, actually the center doesn't have words, so... And this looks a lot more like a wedding than a birthday ceremony. Oh, look at all the characters. Beloved Edgar, those cute little brown eyes. Yeah, the music in this game is actually gorgeous. Uh, Austin Haynes is the composer, and he's obviously fantastic. I feel a little bad for, you know, talking all over it, but the soundtrack is actually available for free on the uh, TSL website, so tsl game.com. Check it out. It's good stuff. It was like Pan from King's Quest IV. How'd he get from Tamir to here? It 
Was it a laugh or a hiccup? Choke? I'll assume it was happy. Look how pretty she is in her wedding gown. Look how coyly they're just smiling at each other. And Alexander gives his blessing. Because he already has hot wife to bang. I didn't just say that out loud, did I? She looks like she's gonna cry. They look like they're gonna cry. So his eyes are blue, her eyes are green. Alexander, well, his eyes are white now. I think they used to be blue. Yeah, they're blue. I think Rosella ended up with blue as well. I guess that's... Phenomenally appropriate. Pheno? Phenomenally? Oh dear. I would never let my brother live it down if he ruined my wedding like this. I mean, really. <laughs> Watch your daughter's wedding, you silly moron. <laughs> Watch Melanie's run. She's... I don't even know. She was adventuring, you know, two days, two games ago. And now she can't even climb stairs. Just look how, you know, lovingly recreated this was. I mean, this is right from King's Quest 6. Lag. I believe that was Alexander lying passed out on the floor in a heap of magic. It must be really hard to run in one of those dresses. I wonder if she got, you know, like the those cages that like you wore under skirts to make them poofy? I wonder if she has one of those on. Oh no. Something to get this way comes. Don't jump off the balcony, Melanie's. She pushes him away, like, what is that? Is she trying to keep him safe? Because I think, I mean, you know, normal gender roles would sort of imply that it's supposed to go the other way around. But she totally, like, didn't cling to him in fear or anything. She pushed him away and was about to confront the guy. Oh, Too much for Valenies. Graham's just got this sorrowful resignation in his eyes. It's kinda suck that it was supposed to be such a beautiful day and now it's ruined by, well, an adventure game. Don't you hate it when you suddenly become a protagonist? It just kinda ruins your plans for the evening. The Silver Lining. And here's the cursor. Cursors are always good. Why'd they put their hands on? I mean, I don't know. I've never held hands with my brother. This seems a little weird. Poor Edgar's just like, I don't know what to do. I mean, Cosima is, you know, notably sobbing, as women folk do. What's wrong with him? That's what we're all wondering, my dear. It looks subtitles are already on. Convenient. <laughs> it was evil. It was pure evil. Did you get a good look at the stranger before he vanished? No. It was all too sudden, and he was wrapped in that cloak. Do we necessarily need to look at this cloak? Hand and Those are two Who was that there. stranger? Why did he do this to our children? I don't know, but if this spell can be cast so easily, there has to be a way to undo it. There has to be one, my lady, but I'm afraid I know not how. Shamir? This magic is foreign to me, sire. I've never seen a thing like it. Do you know anyone who might know what this magic is? I do, 
The Oracle of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. Her knowledge is greater than the ocean, so but very few wondering. people are ever allowed to see her. She will have to see me. My love, you're not... I most certainly am. Your Bitch. Majesty, if you're going to seek the Oracle, I'm going to. No, son. We Aww. don't know what we're up against. You have to stay here with Rosella. This you're is much too frail and fairy-like. That is yours. But uh, you must stay here. Do you that understand? That wasn't a slur. He really yes. is a fairy. I'll stay here with them as well. Prince of the fairies, in you fact. You do that, my love. I promise I'll be back. Aww. Farewell, my dear. The voice act in this game is just phenomenal. Good luck, sire. May this curse be lifted from us before it does us any more harm. I mean, you know, we had six characters in that scene. The gravelly, uh, Captain Vigard. The silly genie, who still had to sound somber. The commanding voice of King Graham, who's, you know, obviously someone to respect, but also that kind of kind. Just all of the, the voices in this game, pretty impressive. And here we are, actually starting. And speaking of the voices, ah, uh, Amy Carrillo is the narrator. She also sings The Day You Were Gone, which presumably plays somewhere. Let's look at the pathfinding. Ooh, let's look at that. Look at the, uh, the seams there, you know? I don't even know. Petter. Is that Petter or Peter? I'm Neil Rodriguez. These faces are fine antiquities indeed. Cosima told Graham that they were a gift from her grandfather to her mother. She was very little when they were placed in the castle. The story goes on for a while, doesn't it? The smile on Alaria's face when her grandfather stepped into the main hall while servants brought the vases into the castle. Oh, it doesn't. Wonderful. Is that how you spell Alaria? All right, let's actually look at the options. Uh, full screen, no resolution, blah blah blah, font size. Oh, look at all that detail. Well, let's see if I can handle it. Audio sounds good. I don't want short narration. Short narrations are for... Whatever. Subtitles, subtitles, good. Oh, look at all those key bindings. Okay, well, everything looks about right, so... Let's get back to the playing. Bitterly. Graham's eyes linger on the garlands of fresh flowers Aww. brought in just this morning to decorate the halls for the wedding. Rosella had mischievously plucked one and tucked it behind her ear on Aww. her way to her rooms to put on her wedding gown earlier. Her Giddy rooms? with excitement, like How many rooms she was do you a little girl ready? all over again. Seeing them now Seriously? only pains Graham, and he's tempted to rip them down and be done with more reminders of what's happened. Well, that was intense. Graham, you need to work on your anger management. This is a very methodical game. As much as Graham would like them out of his sight, he doesn't have time to remove them. Hopefully, the castle's maids will take care of that, and soon. Of course, I tell him that he doesn't... He needs to be in control of his anger, and that I just try to mess with it. Cosima told Graham she was badly scolded by her mother when she broke one of these vases when she was a girl playing hide-and-go-seek with Jalo. What? She, she tried to hide in one? In one oh, she was. Trying to hide, it tipped How's that over. Even? Look and, at that. Well, her mother was furious. Graham better leave them alone. Seriously, look at that. certainly wouldn't fit inside any easier than a small girl. I mean, I guess right now next to Graham it doesn't look that big. Hold on. Move over here. Yeah, you don't- that's not something you can really fit in. Like, you could probably fit a cat in it or something. That would be silly. Anyway. So, uh, this is pretty much what the demo consisted of. I did play the demo when it first came out. And, well, like I said, I've been following it for a while. Look at that camera panning. Ooh. Fancy. But so I am rather familiar There's with no what to point do here. in going into that room. And I've uh, I've played most of chapter I've played chapter one. I've played most of chapter two. I've not at all seen any of chapter three. So this is going to be increasingly blind as we go on. 
What a lovely portrait of Alexander and Sima. The painter must have been creepy. extra kind with Alexander because there are no signs of the slight unease that usually haunts his eyes. Instead, he know. looks as happy and as I handsome feel a as ever. Uneasy. Graham wishes his son were so carefree more often. It's boring into my soul. You know, whatever. It's all good. Kasima's parents, Alaria Graham, and Graham, your head is in the way. Graham unfortunately did not have the chance to meet with them on this occasion. The queen was called away to visit a close childhood friend who had recently become very ill and could not attend the wedding. Kasima expressed her mother's profound apologies and invited the Daventry family to visit another time when Alaria would not be away and so be set with worry. Poor Alaria. Anything about Calvin? Is Calvin just MIA? Deadbeat dad. There was a time when the guards of the castle were human. Well, Graham that's learned silly. that the statue was raised in the name the of one of Saladin's ancestors. The first dog to yeah. become Amy's guard for the castle was the crown. Kind of thing on he her. performed so well that Kasima's ancestors started recruiting more dogs for the job, until it became a tradition. So, what if you're like a human and you want to become a member of the guard? Is that just is that okay if you're good enough, or just you have to be a dog? Kind of seems like a bit of a dog thing. I can't go back in there now. My children need my help. <laughs> nice Besides, echo. Besides, they're in good hands. And I trust that they will be until I return. Okay, if you say so, Graham. Is everything alright in there? Yes, just be prepared. We don't know what else may come. Okay, that's... We will, the, your majesty. The thought echo, even though we're speaking out loud. That's cool. Well... As fun as this top floor has been, let's uh, explore elsewhere. No, Grim. And this is what? Graham knows that Cosima's parents Kasima's are not parents. in the cast. So let's go into uh, my room here. And despite the uh, little bit of jump there, the animation in this game I've really found is fantastically good. Especially just because it was made for free. But like, just look at the walking. Look how look how walking look that looks. Music, Austin Haynes, like I said, very good. Let's uh, let's open this chest here. Always open chests. And These have stuff. always come in handy for Graham to store his valuable items in. He doesn't just stick everything in his pocket. These have always come in handy. Well, fine. For... Look, there was a ding. There were points. We got Inside, points. Inside, Graham finds some gold coins stamped with the insignia of the Green Isles, which Alexander gave him upon their arrival. These will surely hilarious. come in handy. You know, to give like your parents an allowance. Anyway, I guess that is all there is to do here. Let's uh, walk over here. See, look, he appears in the mirror. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. Sorry if I threw the doors here. Graham does not feel like wearing anything from there. Yes, His do. adventuring attire will do fine. That that's says all. a lot about my fashion style. Please note, dear player, that I didn't say that myself. Aww. Graham, we love your adventuring. Uh, Graham does up. not feel like... That's oh, please. fine. Guards! Guards! Well, fine. Okay. Let's look Valenice, at the Valenice, Cosima, and the maids dressed Rosella in this room. So what other rooms were involved? Graham remembers how she looked at herself in the mirror, breathtakingly beautiful in her splendorous white wedding gown. You were there? Are guys allowed to be there? <sighs> Poor Rosella. Let's, uh, let's open these doors. Let's open these doors loudly. Look, shiny. If anything King's, King's Quest games have taught me, it's you always have to pay attention to the shiny. What was that? These are the newer editions of the Daventry coin. One coin? That's, that's how much it's protests, worth. An edition of the coin with a one gold. Face on oh, that's fine. Released recently. 
to accompany the old ones displaying the face of King Edward, his predecessor. Well, he's only been king for like 20 years now. More than that, no, because it's, it's what, their 21st birthday. And then there was at least a year before he got married to Valenice, and then, you know, about a year, presumably, until they... Yeah, no, it's been... It's been, like, practically a quarter of a century by now, Graham. You've, you're, you're pretty much ready to be on the currency. It just says Graham. Not, like, king or anything, just Graham. Alexander gave his father some currency of the Kingdom of the Green Isles. The Green Isles coins still bear the profile of King Caliphim, Cassima's father. Is that notable? I thought we had determined that 25 years was too soon. Anyway, let's open here. Oh, I don't want to close it. Look at this coin. Alexander. Okay, fine. Alexander. The Green okay, Isles coins it. still bear We're the profile. We're done. We're done. Okay. Well, I think it's about time we donned the old adventurer's cap. Guards! Oh, stop it. Fine, I'll do the cap if that makes it better. Let's zoom in on not being able to see anything. Pants usually go on the floor at that point. I don't I guess... What's he wearing? Is he wearing, like... Oh, I don't even know. Time yes. to journey once more. Okay, can anyone tell me that that's not epic? I mean, at least anyone who has played any of the other King's Quest games. If you do not get chills, you're just not alive. Okay, are there actually- is there any way to check the points, or do we just get a happy little ding noise? No? Well, I think we- we just get the happy ding noise that says we did something right. Off with ye! odd that, like, this is just solidly attached to the wall and this opens? Is that just how doors work? I don't know. Anyway, let's... And again, look at all the shinies. The, uh... You can see the reflection in the floor, because it is shiny. You can see the shadow from the torches, presumably coming from over here, I guess? Yep, over there. Just look at all of the attention, and all of the things my video card is struggling to do right now. It's gorgeous. It's going to the great The place hall. is still messed, especially without a hard hat. Uh, Graham's been through worse. Then again, he could also die from a two and a half foot fall on King's Quest V, so maybe not. Mm -hmm. the basement? Graham can think of nothing worth investigating in the castle basement. But there's there's stuff. Fine. Well, let's walk through here. I find it odd they didn't get married in like the Great Hall. I guess maybe that's where they're holding like the banquet afterwards. Or Zella wanted an outdoor wedding. Loading. Okay. So, I was presume this is the kitchen. That door leads to the kitchen. The exquisite yeah. dishes prepared for the wedding feast have probably all gone to waste now, oh. and the kitchen itself has gone silent for the day. There have to be some people that eat when they're when they're stressed. They just went to the kitchen. I'm sure it's being put to good use. Let's take this. Come on, you can, you can get it, Grim. As dashing as he may look in armor, mm. that suit is not only too large to fit Graham, it's far too heavy to be of any real use to him. Any the real king use? much prefers his own clothing, nice and light to let him move quickly, and the colors complement his skin tone so perfectly. Is that is that Graham's opinion, or is that yours, Amy? Regardless. No uh, giant pointy pike thing for us. Let's head out to the garden. Oh, like the things are turned over. Why is that? Like, I don't know. 
that just seems a little silly. And there's a uh, Oberon and Titania, aforementioned king and queen of the fairies. Told you it wasn't a slur. And uh, it's the cloak that that dark creature left behind when it vanished. Right, I was gonna say that. Let's pick it up, you know, because it's there. We're in an adventure game. Let's have some dramatic camera panning. Though I'm not sure what good it will do to have just the cloak of the stranger in his hands, <laughs> Graham takes the garment into his possession. It's all he knows how to do. But we got a point for it, so clearly it was a good idea. Anyway, I think after a short break we will come back and interrogate these fine, fine fairy folk. I'll see you in the next episode.